for an uncensored insight into the showbiz scandal of a generation. And Jaguar, I'm going to start with you. Um, you've been called a whistleblower. Um, you knew Sean Diddy Combs for a, a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. Um, and in 2022, you made headlines after comments. I found it funny that Pierce Morgan identified or labeled her as a whistleblower and didn't mention anything about her musical career. That, to me, already raised the eyebrow. Like, you know, basically people who don't know who Jaguar Wright is, you know, he definitely didn't introduce her properly. He introduced her as a whistleblower as opposed to somebody that was once a part of the music industry. So, you know, that already, you know, put up a red flag for me. And I'm going to put another poll in the chat. I'm going to ask y'all in the chat, is Jaguar Wright even credible? Let's talk about it. Uh, well, you called him a sex trafficker. Uh, and in response, you were called crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No. Not at all, um, because he's just the beginning. Until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. How, how bad was That's it? That's what I care about. I care about the victims. No, I understand. How bad was it, do you think, what was going on? I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, um, I've been performing live since I was 13, my first handler was McKinley Horton. Um, I come to find out 25 years later that a scar that was on his face with a very elaborate story he gave me was put there by a woman who he assaulted. To live through these things and hear your elders, elders in the business, people like Patti LaBelle say, just avoid him, honey. Um, and being taught to be a, just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough, not when you live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this, and you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you, and she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. So you wanna know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters, and the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts. You know, he's I don't very think arrogant. Um, a lot of people call him a culture vulture. Just recently, he had to apologize to Marlon Wayans. He apologized to Marlon Wayans before he even apologized to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He apologized to Marlon Wayans because, long story short, you guys probably heard the story already. Sean, um, Marlon Wayans wanted forty thousand for an interview. Plus, I think he wanted some fifteen or twenty percent of the revenue that happens on that particular interview after the interview was over and Vlad decided to turn him down. And that's all good and dandy. But what Vlad did wrong was he took a private matter, a private conversation and blasted Marlon Wayans all over social media based upon him not agreeing with the price that Marlon Wayne wanted for the particular interview. That to me is very unprofessional. People have the right to say no, right? If you want an interview, they, they, they give you a list of, you know, demands. If they, you can't meet those particular demands as far as negotiating a price is concerned, then you guys go your separate ways. But Vlad decided to be extra petty and um and take it to the Internet, um which I thought was very immature, tacky. It shows how he's just unprofessional. He thinks, like, everybody has to bow down to him, which is weird. He's definitely someone who has OCD. But that's a whole nother story. Let's talk about it. Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I don't really co on anything that she says. Uh, I've never had her on my show, and I don't have any plans to have her on my show. Um, you don't believe her? She got an album in 20 years, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff she's heard, things she's making up and so forth. I'm not saying that there aren't serious things that Diddy may have done, but yeah, I can't co-sign anything that Jaguar Wright is saying, if that's your question. Well, I mean, obviously, since we last spoke, there have now been these charges against Diddy, which are incredibly serious. You didn't think yeah. at the time uh, we last spoke that he was likely to face these charges. Are you surprised it's coming? That shows Vlad's arrogance right there. Let me interpret to y'all what he was say saying pretty much in a nutshell. 
He feels as though Jaguar Wright isn't worthy enough to be on a platform like Pierce Morgan's. And he feels as though, why is she on the same pedestal as me? I'm Vlad TV. I have millions of subscribers and I got thousands of interviews. Why is this conspiracy theorist as what he labeled her as on a platform like this? She's not credible. That's what Vlad is pretty much saying in a nutshell. Somebody stop me when I'm lying. Come to this. I'm not surprised because I feel that law enforcement in general is reactionary. Mm -hmm. I think that when you look at high profile individuals, their arrests and indictments usually come after a documentary, uh, a big TV show, or in, in Diddy's case, it was this huge lawsuit that Cassie filed and everyone got to see all the details and all the attention that came to it. So yeah, it wasn't a surprise uh, that it actually happened uh, because you've seen this happen over and over again. R. Kelly, um, Harvey Weinstein, all the attention that they got, and then now uh, Diddy. So yeah, I mean, this is ultimately the world that we live in. Um, but he'll have his day in court and you know his lawyer said that he's not going to take a plea deal because i think a plea deal at this point is probably going to be very heavy-handed mm -hmm. probably 20 years plus so it makes sense for him to go so for those that don't, that don't it's not familiar with vlad tv he's somebody who got a lot of people on his show indicted he puts a microphone and you know what i hate to say that because at the end of the day everybody's adults if you decide to go in front of a camera and a microphone and incriminate yourself then that's on you a lot of people, like I think Rollo went on there and incriminated himself. A.R. Ad went on there and incriminated himself. A lot of people went on there and incriminated themselves and ended up getting jammed up. Um, as of recently, you know, Keefe D um, and went on there and incriminated himself. And Vlad TV helped assist getting um, Keefe D indicted. Some may say that's a good thing. But justice for Tupac. Some may say, well, damn, what the hell is going on here? You're going on Vlad TV just to get yourself jammed up. Hey, I I'll let y'all be the judge. Go to court. But we'll ultimately see what happens. Um, you know, because we haven't really seen, apart from some of the, the funny stuff of, oh, there's a million bottles of lube that they found there. Right? I'm sorry, a thousand bottles of lube and so forth. Um, we have yet to really see what the evidence is. And I think once we see the actual evidence, then people will actually formulate an opinion on what's happening right now. Do you think there's a lot of people in the rap world in particular who are pretty fearful right now of where this may all lead? Is it a bit like the Epstein scandal, do you think? I don't really think so because I mean, ultimately, everyone. One second, I want to also want to also say this. This is my predictions, right? This was a play for Vlad to get Jaguar right to attack him. Watch me. Watch. Pay attention. I want y'all to mark my words. If you're watching this on rebroadcast, timestamp this. Jaguar right before the end of the week will come at Vlad. Vlad gonna respond back to her, and maybe later on this year we might see. Jaguar on the couch, believe it or not. This was kind of an alley-oop and a setup for, for Jaguar right to get on Vlad TV. But then again, you never know.